It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. I'm at the Green King Tap Room at the brewery, and I've been served by my BAM and Ross. How are you doing, Ross? Uh, you might know Ross from the brewery tours, and we have a pint of East Coast IPA, 4% ABV, uh, the East Coast of England, the East Coast of America with the American hops. Yep and some, some nice fresh malts in there. Absolutely, nitrogenated serve as well, which uh, for this style of beer is a little bit different. Brings okay. a real smooth, creamy, refreshing texture to it. So on a day like we've had today, where we've, we've had a lot of sweat coming out of us, this <sighs> yeah. is a perfect beer start and very refreshing. It's been baking. So let's have a look at the beer then. Beer in a glass. Lovely, lovely look to it. Light, a little bit lighter than some of your other green yep. king beers. All pale malt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a two finger uh, white head. Good carbonation. Let's get the aroma. That is chock full of American hops. Chock full. So maybe some Centennial? Yeah. Yes. Simcoe? Not quite. Not quite. Um, Chinook? Uh, not. No, 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 I'm, 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 you know the sea hop? Let's go through the seas. Cascade? No. What's the other one? I can't. <laughs> off the top of my head, I can't. Centennial think. Citra. Centennial Citra. Citra hop. And Amarillo. And Amarillo, okay. It smells great anyway. I, I mean, it's chock full of American hops. Let's, um, let's dive in. Cheers. Really good temperature. As you mentioned, it's, it's, it's a really warm day outside. You've got a nice 4% IPA. It's crisp, it's refreshing. I would say this is one to tempt a lager drinker. Yeah. This, this is one to say, come and try this. Have a go with this. And more often than not, I reckon, I reckon somebody would go, yeah, this is a really good beer. I want to have another one. Yeah, we get um, a lot of that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people going. I don't, I don't drink ales. I don't, I don't do hoppy stuff, and they yeah. try that, and they, they and they go, it. ooh, yeah, a little bit of kind of zesty orange, zesty grapefruit going on. I like the fact that this. What did you call it? Nitro. It was nitrogenated. So instead of mm -hmm. adding carbon dioxide, we had nitrogen, which is a lot yeah. smaller bubble size, basically, yeah. which gives you a real smooth creaminess to it, and makes it just sort of slide down. A slide down. That's, that's my next words were going to be incredibly, incredibly drinkable. It's giving it a really nice mouthfeel. And that at the temperature, what temperature would you ideally serve this? This is probably, I would say, four, four yeah. degrees. Four to six would be perfect. Yeah. And that stops that anything below that, you get a hop haze yeah. And, and yeah. So you start to lose the flavour then as well. Exactly, exactly. So um, together with that lovely crisp, light biscuit malt, it's got a, a nice balance to it. A nicely hot beer at 4% ABV. It's another beer that, to go with a traditional Green King IPA, you could just you could just get your friends round or or or, or, or like the barbecue or, or come to the pub and enjoy an afternoon without without having too many beers at, at maybe six or seven percent and not being able to get a bit rowdy, don't it? I like this. I like. I'm gonna rate it. I really like that, and not because I'm standing <laughs> with, with you, Ross, um, at, at the brewery. Um, I just think it's a really, really good pint of beer. I'm going to rate it. I reckon East Coast IPA. It's it's a stonking beer for for the four percent ABV, for the balance, the flavour, the crispness, the crispness of the beer. I reckon I give it a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Rio Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. And cheers.